Hello, this is Mrs. Culinary, and today we're going to be making soft Japanese cheesecake. This cheesecake is cotton soft, light, pillowy, and tastes wonderfully good. So here are the ingredients that you will need. Cream cheese, unsalted butter, sugar, all-purpose flour, cornstarch, lemon juice, whole milk, and six large eggs. And you want to make sure that the cream cheese, butter, and the eggs are all in room temperature. In a large bowl, you want to separate the egg yolks and the egg white, and then beat the egg whites on a low speed for about 30 seconds until it becomes foamy. Once the egg whites has become foamy, you want to add in the sugar gradually and increase the mixture speed to medium-low. Continue beating the batter until it reaches stiff peaks. In a separate bowl, adding the cream cheese, milk, and the butter. Mix this on a low speed until the texture has become creamy and smooth. This will take about approximately 2-3 to three minutes. And then adding the lemon juice, cornstarch, and flour. You want to combine and mix this until everything are incorporated. Add in the egg yolks and mix for another minute. Make sure that you don't overmix the egg yolks. And then you want to strain the batter for silky and smooth texture of cheesecake. And then you want to gently fold one third of the egg whites into the batter until mostly incorporated and then pour the batter into the egg whites mixture. Fold gently until everything are combined. Prepare a 20 cm springform pan and a heavy-duty aluminum foil. So the difference between the regular and the heavy-duty one is that the regular foil is thinner and it doesn't stand in the heat. So you really want to make sure to get the heavy-duty aluminum foil. Pull out two of 18-inch foil, place it on top of the bottom of the pan, making a cross-section in the center of the tin, and then you want to seal the edges making it tight so that the water doesn't seep in. Now place the round tin on top of the foil and lock the pan. And then wrap the bottom by lifting the edges of the foil around the outside of the pan. Once the pan is nice and sealed, you want to butter the side and the bottom of the pan and line with parchment paper. Gently pour the batter mixture into the pan and tap a few times to let the air out. Because we're baking the cheesecake with water bath, you want to fill the roasting pan with about 1 inch of hot water. And then place the cheesecake pan on top of the roasting pan that has been filled with water and bake for 80 minutes in 315 Fahrenheit. After 80 minutes, you need to turn off your oven and then crack the door open slightly and leave the cheesecake in the oven for about 1 hour for it to cool down. I know this is tempting but you probably will try to take them out and touch the cheesecake 
but please avoid this mistakes. This step is actually to prevent your cheesecake to crack. So this is the result after waiting for a dreadful hour. The top of the cheesecake should be golden brown and smooth. Remove the pan from the water bath, unwrap the foil, transfer your cheesecake to a cooling rack, slice and serve. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of the cheesecake on the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Mrs. Culinary. See you next time. Bye!